Hey guys, it's Tom. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on uh, image mapping, so basically how you get links onto banners, what code you need, and also on tips to make a good background, my personal tips, I don't know, that kind of thing. I'm going to have some tutorials coming up, so don't just think, oh, this is a cop-out tutorial, because I'm going to be having quite a few things tutorialed. So yeah, basically, let's start straight away. You go to imagemaps.com, the link will be in the description. You choose your file, I've already chosen it, you click start mapping your image, and it's really simple, it's pretty much self-explanatory, you wait how many seconds, and you can see this is the banner for my latest background, I didn't make it, Squared Designers, so please check him out, he's in my box, it's also on the link, and he does some really amazing stuff. So basically, once you reach this page, you can make a custom shape, I've never actually tried this. I have no idea how that works. Right, I'll just delete that. Okay, what I usually do is click the rectangle button here, and you can drag it, and I would put it over the designer, and I drag it so it makes the shape of the designer. That's where I want the link to span across. And then I basically type in the link for this. So in this case, it would be youtube.com slash user slash squared design. And you can click test link and it will take you to his page and then if that's fine just click save and there you go you carry on making more until it's done and then blah 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 once you're done you click get your code <coughs> sorry and it's html code that's what you want and you'll be copying that into the uh, image mapping or the whatever the the box is in your channel settings i don't know what it's called but so yeah that's pretty much how you do that and also uh, many people over the past however long I've been doing YouTube have actually asked how I how how what 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 are my tips on making backgrounds and as you can see I have kind of a various range of the backgrounds I've done over the past they're very different I say first thing if you want to make a nice background make it unique I mean spend more time thinking about your ideas and thinking in school or something, I don't know. But you got to make it not just normal like everyone else's. Maybe your own style, I have no idea. But there's just loads of things you do. I I recommend using lots of layer styles because they kind of improve things. So that if I just... Uh, how do I get rid of layer styles? Layer styles. So this is like the, the main body where everything would be on. And if I just remove it, you can see uh, oh, what, what happened there. And it's the same on the uh... if I can find it if you can find it no I'm blind but uh... but yeah that that sort of thing and also you can use use the filter kind of selections to do loads of stuff that's how I I messed around with things and that's how I get this kind of electricity effect around the text and lots of things behind it and that's basically how I get that also have a good have a good variation of brushes I mean I, I have many bl brushes bl blushes? brushes I have lots as you oh no I don't have lots of shit well this is <laughs> this is my new PC but I'd usually have a lot I I need to install them I'll get round to it when I actually need to use them so yeah use lots of brushes and if you want to obviously and you can also add things in like as you can see I've got far here but it's kind of blurred and I have glass bits and I have these light streaks I made the cables myself. You can check out my tutorial on that. I have a tutorial on that. Also, add textures. You uh, basically put the texture on, make sure it's over it, generally. Can't make it more contrasted. Then, what I recommend is you right click on the layer, and it has to be on top of the layer you want it to kind of shape to. And then you click Create Clipping Mask, and it kind of cuts it to um to the layer below. It only shows on what the layer below is so if it was the v9 shape it would only go on the v9 so that kind of thing and then you just overlay it and whatever and do all that and then lastly finishing touches always matter i think as you can see i got three gradient maps here without the gradient maps it looks kind of kind of dull but if you add them on it gives it kind of more color and depth and you can see here as well and you just use them in particular ways on this one i overlaid it turned down the opacity on this one soft light and on this one oh another soft light also on photo edits I recommend using 
colour and turning it down and keeping the, the lighter colour as white and only the the dark one the left dark the dark colour as a colour rather than white put it on the colour section on here and just turn down the opacity and it gives a really nice effect so um, that's basically it for now I will have a new tutorial very, very soon or maybe GFX News and I might work on a speed art so there's a few things that could be on my channel soon so hope you enjoyed enjoyed or learnt stuff from this tutorial and I'll see you next time